Hi everybody, welcome to uh, part four of our Resident Evil playthrough. I'm Chris Allen. And I'm Dave Moog. Uh, and we've got Dave Moog back in controls of this, so... Um, yeah, he's just been sorting out a few items there. Uh, I was saying that he was going to complain about the items in the box. You should have heard the rant. That was all. Yes, yeah, certainly. If, if anyone watched part three, you know that I was quite disappointed with Christopher's performance. Uh, he ran away from most of the Crimson Head zombies, so he's left them for me to deal with. Uh, da -da -da. I've got rid of the first key for us, though. Personally, I think if in the part before that somebody had burned them, they wouldn't have came back as Crimson Heads. You know, see here, I'm just going to retrace my steps a little bit there. I forgot the, the chemical, because we can now enter into the room just around the corner here where we can kill something with that. So we've got that to look forward to. And we're also going to be carrying about the lighter as well, because we'll be wanting to make our way back up to the second floor to the room where we helped Richard. I believe we can use the lighter in there to get a wee item. So here we go. How many daggers have you left me with, Christopher? Three, I'm sure uh, I'm sure you're cool. I'm more than enough, don't you worry. So, find yourself a wee, a wee batteroo. Let's go and see if we can find something at the end of this hall. Oh, it's quite bleak in here. Something's happened here. It's quite nasty looking this hallway. Yes, and there's a zombies battering at the windows as well. So here we are in the plant room. Uh, so I'm not going to go much further forward here because you'll see the, the wee vines or whatever they are, tentacles if you like, flapping about there. Uh, that becomes a bit of a deadly plant here. So I'm going to try and take care of it by using this bag of chemicals into what looks like some kind of is it water. You're the scientist here, Christopher, aren't you? Is it some kind of water sewage pump? Uh, well, it does seem to be water and the chemicals in some kind of soluble bag. Quick, see if I've done anything there. Oh, mm -hmm. I forgot to pump the actual water. What colour do we want? Red or green? I believe it's red. We'll go for the red. Christopher is a scientist. That might be news to some people. Christopher actually makes this uh, bombs for a living, don't you? Well, I analyse. Analyse. But he is an actual scientist. If anyone's surprised by that, please feel free to leave comments at the bottom of the page. So I've also got a, a good selection here of herbs. I'm not going to pick them all up because, uh, again, we are playing this on easy mode. I don't think we really need to have too many more herbs than what we've actually got in the, in what we've got in our safe. What I'll maybe do is I'll maybe use another herb just because Christopher did have us in caution at the end of the last part. Uh, I'll use one or pick one up. And you'll see there we also got the second of four death masks. Uh, we were using the death masks just outside the back of the mansion. Uh, we're not quite sure what's going to come out, but in the room where you put them, there's a coffin hanging from the walls. Speaking of the walls, something's just came right through them. Or are you sure they're not windows? Uh, this, is, this is actually going to be one of the few bedrooms that's in the mansion here. you notice that the bedrooms aren't particularly big here. Uh, and, and I think in the last part we did see uh, a bedroom up the stairs where we were reading the researcher's diary. I think yeah, I think we can clearly assume something's going to be coming through here. Oh, it's Christopher himself! <laughs> oh, it was too close there for comfort. And he's still not down. So how many daggers is that we've got now, Mark? Well, I'm substituting the dagger for the battery first. Oh, he went down. Gonna keep his diary. This is one of my favourite articles in any Resident Evil game, so I'm just gonna slowly go through this as we need the story of Scott uh oh sorry, playing with playing with Scott, uh, and this this is his inevitable turn into a, a, a zombie here. Uh, he, he starts to panic a little bit as there's an outbreak. Uh, and he's also he's also a bit of a bad guy here as well, how he how he treats the dogs here. You know, 
I don't. I think this this is one researcher that maybe got his come up and. Uh, there he is. This is where he tells you again about the the goddamn dogs. Uh, I am a I am quite a dog person. Christopher's more of a cat person. So maybe you like the way that the the, the researcher here is um, treating the dogs. Actually, I always read this a bit differently, and I thought that treating the dogs mainly was an outcome of and being infected by the virus that she twisted this like outlook in the world to that wee bit and as you go through the diary it generally develops into and turning into a full blown zombie. Oh but this is my, my favourite entry right here. Itchy itchy Scott came ugly face so killed him tasty. Followed by the last entry. I love how the fact that he's managed to kill Scott and the next day he's managed to still have enough sense about him to enter in that last entry about being itchy and tasty. We were disappointed we were not getting shotgun shells there out the, of out the, the cupboard, like we do in the original Resident Evil game, but we, we'll survive. So moving on, we're going to head back up to the, the, the snake room. Oh, a little bit of action there. So we're going to head back up to the snake room and use a lighter. Again, I, I do find it terribly annoying that uh, I've got to fight the Crimson Heads that Christopher <laughs> didn't finish off in the last game, but I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. All uh, about the ammo can serving. Uh, we could go back there and put the, the blue gem that's in this room in the tag and eye, but we're not going to get anything exciting at this stage. Uh, we can maybe leave that for our return to the mansion later on. So if that's a spoiler for anybody. But we will be, we do leave the mansion and come back. Um, I'm just wondering there if we're going to take a quick detour to get rid of the, the death mask, but I think we just rattle on through it again. Because we're playing it in the very easy mode, we won't deny it. We do have the kind of luxury not to worry too much about carrying excess ammo and aid, which does leave us with a wee bit of room in our bags. Richard's still struggling. Now, if I remember correctly, there's going to be a zombie right in Joe's left hand side as she enters the room here. That was some skills. Yeah, I'm in awe. Now, one of the disadvantages we've got to having crimson heads go around is that maybe now would have been a good time to head back down the stairs and use that first aid room, but we've not got one but two crimson head zombies hanging about in that room. No, just going to be a bit over the court. No, I wasn't. I, th I did have, I thought there was somebody going to come out of that room. What we'll do is here, uh, we'll maybe just give him a wee kite. And we've got the musical score. What's the score? Is it musical? It's musical. And for anybody wondering there, we're going to go back now to the piano room in the first floor, so we're probably are going to kill our first Crimson Head. Uh, Dave. They are quite nasty creatures, especially once they get their claws into you, they are hard to escape from. So as a precaution, what I'll do is I'll pick up another one of the green herbs. I don't think we're going to need two, but you never know. And we're going to head right back down into the dining room. Uh, we always maintain that this isn't really a walkthrough, it's more, it's more of a kind of fun playthrough with you guys, but I would strongly recommend anyone uh, playing through the game on any mode above, very easy mode, does burn these zombies. Uh, you do want to get rid of them. The Crimson Heads can be a lot more difficult in the kind of high enough levels. But also, 
So in this room, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this wooden emblem just out above the fireplace at the end of the room here. Doesn't leave me with a lot of slots, but hopefully I want to use that musical score. I should have a little slot there. And if worse comes to the worst, we can always get those two green herbs combined. Yeah, if you combine the green herbs, you will need a slot to pick up the other bit of the musical score, I think. And that's the Crimson Head death. First official death of the Crimson Head zombie. He doesn't have the door zombie. You don't need to worry about them. So, you're in for a real treat here. You're about to be entertained by a real bit of classical music. Uh, maybe I've jumped the gun a wee bit here. Uh, no, you need to go around the corner and push the... And then you should have another bit of it there. I'm just going to combine these herbs. This is what I was talking about earlier on, that maybe we could have taken a slight detour there and gotten rid of the death mask, but all is well that ends well. And we'll let you enjoy this little bit of Moonlight Sonata. Christopher, you're a bit of an uncultured swine. Um, just something that you would be interested in in your own time? What about classical music? Um, I can't say I would go out of my way. I think that is... A lot of it is like, I've seen a lot of films that use it really effectively and scenes and stuff like that, but um, I'm like a, one of those indie rock kids, but I can appreciate it, yes. I'll go back to my original uncultured swine comment there. So you see there, that the reason that we had to uh, bring the wooden emblem with us is otherwise you can get locked in the room. I don't think there's a room you can die in. You can always put that golden emblem back into the, the room to get out. If you've not got the wooden one with you, uh, you won't be able to leave with the, the golden emblem, which does beg the question, what do we do with the, the golden emblem? You see that again, the mention of Lisa. Uh, we said to you in part three of this guide to watch out for or remember the name Lisa, that will come up later on in the game. It should be especially exciting for anyone who's played the original game and scratching their head right now saying they don't remember Lisa. It is a new part of the game. So now what I want to do is I want to go and put that golden emblem back into the same room that we got a wooden one from. Not so zombies still didn't jump through the door there. Give us a wee bit of extra time. And what have we got? Let's move the clock. What what could it be? I don't know if I can quite remember this this puzzle here. Uh, well, I never actually really worked out this puzzle, but I just guessed it and got it like first time, because uh, I believe it was six o'clock. What have we got? Six o'clock. I have no idea why it's 6 o'clock, mind you, but I just thought it was a reasonable first guess and it seemed to work. Maybe if anybody knows why it's 6 o'clock they could explain the puzzle to us, but... Yeah, go ahead, leave that in the comments. I don't know if it's something we meant to see here. Uh, picture of two knights striking each other. There we go. I don't think I read this in the original playthrough. Pierce the head of the other. That explains it. Right, so now we've got that key, which will take us into a fight, a fight, a boss fight, uh, believe it or not. 
Do we be daring? Do we go straight to the fight? Not got a shotgun on us. You know what? I think we've seen too much cowardice in part three with Christopher. I think we're just going to go head on into this fight. Mm. Very brave of you. Shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who we're actually going to be fighting. Uh, it does clearly tell us that Richard's already been beaten by a giant, or sorry, bitten mm-hmm. by a giant snake. So I'm pretty sure that's what we've got to expect here. Again, living dangerously. I've only got two green herbs uh, mixed together, but I think there might be another one around this corner. I can, I'll, yeah, I'll take that just in case. And also the trick here will be to try not to get to be, to be bitten by the snake. Because unlike the original one, there's not going to be any Barry outside the door to come and help us. And it's the only use for that key. Maybe I'm in the room, we've got a wee bit of time, we've got a wee bit of investigation what we can do here, what we've got up on the shelf. Take the shotgun shell, making sure we're leaving a space. Uh, we'll move on in and oh! That's some yawn on that snake, isn't it, Christopher? Yeah, it would be. Uh, he, he was also watching your part 3 performance. Oh, and Richard, Gil Supreme surprises everybody by joining the battle. We head up to the back here, and I'm going to take the death mask. Maybe a wee bit of a mistake there, because I've not left myself with a, a slot open. And maybe what we would want there is for Richard to join in the battle. We could probably leave at this point, but there is, there's a reason we're not leaving, which we'll reveal shortly. I'm just going to take a couple of wee pop shots at the snake. Not the best angle there. Ooh, nearly got bit. Took a wee swipe at his tail. Time for a quick reload. Ooh. Oh, the snake yes. is down. Saved by the bell, or saved by the Richard, I should say. The fight is not over. Richard! All that effort to go and save him, and I think that's maybe what you said in part three, Christopher, is that right? Uh, yes, it is. You were, you were talking about the, the trophy. Mm. Oh, we got hit. I don't know that tension should have though. That's the wrong button there. No, it does come up as poison. Don't know if I really need to use that here there, but we did want this bad boy. The assault shotgun, another new feature to the game. And why don't we just go ahead and give it a wee try? We, again, we could leave at this stage and see what I'm over. Why not finish it Too many more shots. I'm just going to head back to the Beretta, and I uh, think the snake is there. retreating. Maybe not quite yet. Yeah, there we go. He's heading off. Now we have been poisoned there. Still get the green. So let's head on back. To the 